In last week's video, I went on a camping adventure, tagging along a big convoy of 4x4 trucks into the woods and had the time of my life. The event was called the RTT Rendezvous 2023, where I was privileged to meet seasoned campers with heaps of experience in the overlanding lifestyle. In this episode, I'll be taking you along on a tour or walk around the campsite to check out some of the coolest camping rigs and setups. Watch till the end of the video for an exclusive interview with the OGs of Overlanding, which I have found immensely inspiring. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful day here in Woodland Touring Park in Kalumpang, Selangor. As you can see, there are so many cool trucks and camping rigs all around. And we are here for a camp meet or an event called the RTT Rendezvous 2023. I think the camping vlog will be in another video which I will link up above. And in this episode, I'm gonna do a walk around. I'm gonna walk about and just check out everyone's camping rig. And hopefully I get to learn a thing or two and get some tips and advice on how to make my overlanding dreams come true. First one on the list. All right, so first station, I've got Mr. Tommy King here with hi, his hi. really cool rig. Hi, Mr. Tommy. Hi, hello. <laughs> You've even got your flag. <laughs> Camping Poison, is it? Is it our Facebook page or a group? Uh, we have three, we have the website, we have our Facebook group and also our page. Ah, uh, so okay. And we do all kinds of camping uh, sharing. Uh. Sharing is, yeah. uh, is a place for people to get poisoned into <laughs> yeah, yeah. upgrading their camping gears. Yeah. And I really, really am so intrigued and, you know, uh, impressed by your car, your rig. Is this? this is a Jeep Cherokee. Yeah? Yeah, Cherokee. Really nice. How long have you had this? Uh, four years plus. Yeah. This is my second unit. The first one, the 2014. So I sold it and I bought a Langosa Ninja. I sold again, then I buy, I oh, bought this. So you so got I, a Land Cruiser Ninja yeah. and you sold it. Okay, Land Cruiser is my dream car. Yeah. Okay, any reason why you sold your Land Cruiser? Uh, I bought it, that one is a Land Cruiser Ninja. It's uh -huh. a, a key series, yeah. uh, 4002 cc. Uh -huh. So I have done everything yeah. and someone at my, my car and I sold to him. Oh. I see. I, it's not because the Land Cruiser was problematic. Uh, no, no, no. It was no. not because you were not happy with no, it. No, no. But because it's, somebody it's else yeah. was interested to yeah. buy it, so you sold. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. that's comforting. <laughs> so I sold, then I back to. Mm. My first was uh, manual, the Cherokee. Yeah. Now this auto. So they've got the soft shell with top 10. Yeah, this one can fit your whole family. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, so, so, so you have. Uh, so, uh, so you so got that extra yeah, 10. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got an extra ground tent because yeah, the, the, the tent can't yeah, fit everyone, because right? Because we have six person, uh -huh. and then uh, we need because this is only for three person. Yes. So. Oh, and you guys have a fridge as well. Yeah. yeah. And the fridge yeah, is powered. It, it is powered by by uh, DIY, DIY LiPo4 battery. Oh, uh, DIY uh, lithium battery. Uh, it's lithium a lithium phosphate. I know AH uh, a cable CD, so can last us for three days to night. Oh, amazing! Amazing! Mm. Amazing! The battery is behind here. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's behind here. Oh. Yeah, you can see, you can oh, see the battery. Nice, yeah, nice. the battery. Your, your kitchen is still complete. So, yeah, because I mind. love um, mm. double stove. Because yeah. I have six person. Yeah. So in one shot, I have to cook for all. Oh, correct, correct. That's why I need uh, double stove. Mm. And then, coincidentally, uh, he showed me this stove. Mm. And then, he's telling me that this is the best stove. Yeah. But it's true. It is. Really very nice to use. Yeah. Yeah. Conveniently the gas the gas canisters could just sit there. Yes, correct. Oh. And this is also my my favorite la. Ah. My cutting board. Yeah. My cutting place. Ah, it looks very tactical. Yeah, probably me in Malaysian. Mm. How often do you guys go camping? Uh, school holiday. School holiday la. Uh, school holiday. Kids, school holiday. And your kids love camping as yeah. well. How yeah. you enjoy your camping with your daddy mommy? I have three more kids over there. Oh, so total four kids. Yeah. Amazing, yeah. amazing. Oh, I like your this little side hustle, this side table. Yeah, it's also uh, made by our Malaysian camper. Cool. This is one of the coolest rigs here, by the way. <laughs> A Jeep Shiroki. It's so, it's so, so rare to find Jeep uh, Shiroki in Malaysia. Now, now getting uh, quite famous. Yeah. Because uh, the car is not so 
spicy, uh-huh. still affordable. Yeah. Uh, because of uh, the square square sugar, yep. uh, a little bit of uh, retro classic. Uh. So people like those. Mm, this is old like. school. This yeah, is classic. It is very capable. It's amazing. And you've done if you've done it up really beautifully. Oh, so thank thank you so much, Mr. Tommy. Thank you. And check out their uh, page, Camping Poison. Thank, thank you. you June, thank I'm hunting for the yeah. next rig. I have found a really cool rig right now. It is a Toyota Hilux camper. And hi, Inji. Is your name? Azam, Azam. Ah, oh, Inji Azam. Oh. Wow, I really like your rig. Nampak really, really cool and really, really subtle and very, very complete. Dah berapa lama dah Inji Azam camping? Uh, ada lah dalam dua tahun. Dua tahun lah. So selalu uh, berapa kerap dapat camping? Mm, normally depends, depends, depends lah. Kadang macam this after this trip, I mm. 10 hari I pergi camping. Oh. Using, uh, Oh wow, uh, boleh buat long distance punya tak ada yes, masalah. Yes, tak ada masalah. Kita uh, tak ada that's, 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 kita ada, that's, ada that's, event ke apa tak ada. Uh, that's like my dream to go for long distance camping trips and road trips. Boleh, boleh, I, I, I can, minat can, nak can. tengok this um, kitchen no, set up. This is a pull out drawer. Eh? Yes. Wow. Nice. This one uh, buat kat mana? Ni buat dekat Ricky. Oh dekat Rick, uh, RY Venture lah. Yeah. This is a single stuff. Yes. This one is your ration compartment. Ah, oh, that's nice. Ah. And, fridge. and you got a fridge as well. Yeah, this is power supply. Ah, uh, nak pergi off grid kan? Boleh yeah. pergi off grid untuk berapa lama? This one can no problem for two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks is good. Two weeks is good. Mm. And you have a, like a charging system, solar. Yeah. Two hundred. Two hundred. Yes. Mm. From battery and then uh, solar backup mm. and portable power pack also we have. <laughs> it's so complete, it's so complete and mm. with the awning and the kitchen uh, drawer system and with the rooftop tent, the rooftop tent is also beautiful. Yang ni pun wild land ke? No, this, this is uh, this alu- king aluminium. Top of the range. <laughs> the, I like the extra awning kat situ. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the ventilation is very, very good as well. Uh, this is a Hilux, really capable car as well. It is also one of my dream cars, but yep. A okay, really cool rig. Thank you, Mr. Azam. Thank you for showing me around. The next rig is this. Hi. How do I address you? Uh, just call me Han. Oh, okay. hi Han. Hi Han. Oh. My wife said. Hi. hi. Sorry. What's your name? Patricia. Patricia. Yeah. Patricia. Oh, how long have you guys been camping? Just two months. Two, two months. months. Oh, yeah. Two, two months. months. Just two months, and yeah. you are quite. You are so complete already. Your setup almost, is pretty yeah. complete. Almost. Almost. Yeah. Almost. So I believe you will be camping more and more and yes, more yes, in the future. Yes. That's the idea. So you have installed this steel canopy. Yeah? Is this a steel canopy? Yeah. Yeah. Top ten. This is a uh, wireland. What What's the model of this tent? Auto ten Normandy. Ah, wireland uh, auto Normandy. Auto just release the. Uh, the strap and it just goes up by itself. Oh, that's, that's convenient. And what's the weight of this? 63, I think. 63. Uh, that's uh, considered quite uh, light. Light, light. Yeah, yeah so it's great, it's great. But it doesn't open up, so it takes up the whole roof, almost the whole roof. I see, I see. Mm. I like others okay. that opens up, you know. Mm. Uh, but it's okay, you have a long body vehicle, <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. And then soon you're going to install solar, and then soon you're going to have a fridge. Yeah, and it's good. just mm. going to, mm. it will be addictive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. Thank you, Han. Okay, okay enjoy. You. Have a good camp. Right. See you around. You. Okay, next rig. <laughs> I'm on a rig hunt. Everyone is like, oh, June's coming, June's coming. <laughs> so, next is, uh, I'm pretty sure some of you or many of you might know this guy. It's Mr. Alfik from Atomic yes. Resources, yes, right? right? What's new in life? You've What's got new in life? Mm. Uh, inside, inside. We just launched a new campsite in Johor. Johor Negeri Sembilan. Yep. Yeah, Johor Negeri Sembilan, mm. which is named Akiha Village Camp. Ah. Mm. You guys can see in the Facebook. I would love to go there soon. Soon. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, and mm. you guys do uh, this tent cleaning services as yeah. well, right? Um, We're doing that. Yeah. Yeah, since 2014. Oh. So if you guys need any tent cleaning services, this is the guy for you. Come, 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 come. <laughs> so yeah, just just have a look at your rig. You've got the wireland as well. Yeah. This yeah, is one of the first uh, pioneer wireland yeah. uh, rooftop for tents. For five person. Eh? Yeah. It's really huge. Yeah, we need it. Yeah, you got your whole family again. <laughs> yeah. I know you are a pengusaha campsite. You got your business. How often do you get to go camping? For me, after after new campsite, mm. after this, 
Every week we go to Kemsan. Every Kem week, yay! Yeah, sure, after this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Already we have a, a staff over there. So you got your staff to manage the business for you? So yes. that you get to go camping. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yes, yes. Because the, the Jiwa, Jiwa camping is still there, you will find your way to yeah, go camping sure. again. <laughs> Alright, okay. Thank okay. you, thank you so much. Okay, Have a good bye camp. Bye. See you around. You <laughs> this is Red Pajero Overland. Mr. Mozaini flying his drone. And he is super focused. <laughs> and he's concentrating on flying the drone. You got the Z frame. Yes, Z frame. Wow. So this is really cool. I just stand by and now it's ready. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> What's the name of this rooftop tent? Uh, rock Cruiser. This is the Wildland Rock Cruiser. Yeah, it's oh, what dengan rig juga ke? Yeah, betul. Ayo. <laughs> All rig oh. yeah, customer. <laughs> so, okay, so, so what, uh, may I know what's your name? Uh, Rafi. Uh, Encik Rafi. Yeah, okay, betul. okay, Encik Rafi. This is a really cool, your car, your, your truck is a? Eh? Navara. Nissan Navara, amazing. So Encik Rafi, how da bapa lama dah camping? Ah, camping dah agak lama juga, tapi setup ni saya ingat dalam less than year lah. So this this setup is less than a year, but camping has been quite a long time. So da apa ni kira otai juga, kira otai juga lah. Ah, ini otai ni main je, tapi pakai ATT ni baru lagi lah. Ah, this ATT pun harga dia pun not bad lah, this one, but it's really good. It is one of the latest models, I think. Really nice. How, is it is it comfortable? Really comfortable. Really comfortable and really easy to set up. Worth it lah. I see. And you got the steel canopy you got, eh? Yeah, steel canopy. Oh, this is great. This is great. <laughs> this is a pull-out drawer kitchen system. Yes. Can okay. it's double stove. Yeah, double stove. Good. Nice. Sinky. Sinky. Sinky ni dia con connect uh, dengan air sauce dia kat mana? Uh, you can prepare. Kena prepare you lah. Kena prepare external dan mm. taruh. Tapi so far tak pakai, belum pakai lagi lah. I see. Tak pakai yang menu aja dulu senang. Kena 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 pam. Bila air camping lama boleh pakai kot. Mm. Just for one night macam penat je. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> dia cukup kukuh eh. Dia cukup, tak perlu kukuh, tak, tak perlu tiang, tiang ni. Yes. This betul. is great. And you also got the fridge ya. Yeah? Ya. Yeah. Oh it is powered by? Powered by my uh, dual battery system. Dual battery system. Yeah. Oh, you got the LP Cool. Ini LP Cool. Dual battery system. Kalau you tengok ke atas, ada mm. inverter, ada DC, 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 DC charger. Mm. Dan boleh cover saya punya 200M hour battery. So, biasanya kalau dah mm. semua benda fully charged kan, boleh, boleh pergi off-grid berapa lama? Uh, eh, kalau off-grid, you move, you moving, should be no problem. Sebab mm. you boleh stay no without engine start. For three days pun, okay lagi. This is punya operation. Mm. Cuma mm. bila you move, one or two hours, that's really yep. just really nice. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. So it's, it's just nice lah. Three days of great and then the person move betul, to another betul, place betul. and then three days again and then move again to another place. Yes. This is right. the off-grid overlanding lifestyle, which is such a dream. <laughs> 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 All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Rafi. Really cool rig. Uh, and it's also my dream. The next rig belongs to Mr. Kwa and Joanne. Yep. And they are from Best Wing Solution. Yeah. Wow. I see Very something special. Yeah, this right. is uh, some of the latest uh, high-end uh, equipment of aircon, portable aircon, and the portable fridge. Wow! Yeah. So it's a very good quality stuff. Right here. We are camper ourselves. Yeah. Doing the camping stuff. Uh, also after the COVID, since we cannot fly overseas. Yeah. Okay, but I used to be kind of like a backup when I was a phone call from pilot. Yes. Yes. So, so the love for the outdoors are still, still, is, there. Is still there. I think firstly the pandemic has actually um, created quite a lot of changes in many people. Like many people start to realize that their love for the outdoors and many people have started camping after the pandemic. So it's great and I, I, I can see how the camping culture in Malaysia has evolved yeah, and yeah. blossomed I, in the it, past two years. My wife have a company called Best Wing Solution, mm -hmm. selling uh, cooling stuff and power, uh, portable aircon, and also Epico portable fridge, mm. as well as uh, power station mm. and some custom power station. Mainly on on the power and cooling stuff. The, the funny thing is like when we start uh, making the truck, like what what are the fridge that we want to buy? Mm. And then my wife actually bought a super bigger size. Mm. You know, my wife Joanne. So. <laughs> I was having a few times of camping with her with the very big fridge 
Well, almost this kind of size, ah. Mm. And was complaining a bit, you know, like say, you know, why not you just sell it and then buy a smaller piece? Because we only have four person, like me, my wife, and my son and my daughter. Mm. And then at the time we are putting it out on the marketplace, and then it mm. takes about 10-15 minutes. There's somebody is inquiry, and then mm. deal. So that's uh, trigger up. Uh, then I asked my wife, like, if you want to do this business, there's uh, some group buy among the camper friend mm. on my kampung lah, on my village. Yeah. So that's all is the story that how it triggers up. Uh, most of the outdoor businesses, they all start with a story uh, that comes from uh, a real passion yeah, something for, like that. for that for it. It's amazing. It's, it's, it's great to turn passion or hobby into a business. It's something being planned, it was uh, unexpected. Mm. So when we group by the fridge and then one of the fridge got problem and then I have to start uh, looking into how to solve the problem. Mm. So when we want to solve the problem, we have to open up the machine and mm. check and then if I have don't have the knowledge at that time, mm. uh, about 2020, mm. then slowly I pick it up and learn from some sipu lah who know how to repair the refrigerator. So at the moment, mm. we are providing those you know, after sales service kind of thing. That's great because you identified the problem, you went through the problem yourself, oh. you found the solution, and now you are providing solutions yes, to people. Yes, it's yes, great, yes. It's, it's amazing, it's amazing. It's my dream as well to upgrade my vehicle and turn it into a proper camping rig. So eventually in the future, I will definitely get a fridge and uh, a better power station as well. Latest model of the aircon, mm -hmm. let's say this is called the EcoPro Wave 2. Yep. So it comes with the aqua battery and then yeah, I have this uh, fridge. This is the EcoPro uh, Koi Glacier. Mm -hmm. It's very popular in America. So these are the two units, mm -hmm. which is the first in Malaysia. Wow. At the moment, we have this product uh, going to be ready for the market. Lah. No, by the July. Mm. Have a look. Yeah. And you have an ice maker. Okay. Oh. See? It's wow. cooling and then it's powered by battery. And then there's an ice maker on here. You can actually make ice. Nice. Yeah, and then this is how it looks, you know. And if I want to power up and then make the ice. This is totally next level. Yeah, this is echo. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling the echo yeah. now. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm gonna stay here for a while. <laughs> So but yeah. This is a very nice aircon, mostly the most powerful aircon in BTU nowadays. This is 5100 BTU, which means that the cooling capability. Really, really cool products. And you know, you may think that an air conditioner is an overkill, but you know, with a heat wave recently, the heat wave, I mean, even I can't stand the heat. So this might just become the necessity very, very soon. <laughs> Crazy, yeah. right? Yes, Nowadays, yes. people camping, you know. Uh, how can we reach you if we are interested in your product? Mm -hmm. We have a home based uh, showroom lah, mm. that we can share with our camper friend who mm -hmm. would like to visit us. They are supposed to call us and make some appointment and then we will be there to serve them. Lah. Our company is called Best Wing Solution. Mm -hmm. So this uh, camping and outdoor years and then that's my wife. Phone numbers. Uh, first contact 012 and then this is my contact. I'm more for technical. Lah. If there's more questions that you'd like to ask. Alright, thank you so much for your time. Okay. Thank you so much. Alright. <laughs> okay, enjoy your camp. I'll see you guys again. And next week on the target is Mr. Mozaini from Red Pajero Overland. Hi. Hi, Abang Mozaini. Hi. Nice to meet you. Slalu tengok video. Kan? <laughs> I finally get to meet you in person. Your Pajero looks really, really cool in real life. Encik uh, Mozaini, how often dapat pergi camping? Okay, selalunya every two weeks, if not every week je. Oh, yeah. uh, tapi normally every two weeks je. Quite regular uh, juga lah kan? Uh, regular camp, hmm. camping lah. I normally choose yang tempat yang sunyi. Uh, I tak, tak suka crowded. Sama lah, so, sama lah kita. <laughs> saya pun tak suka crowded. Uh, you go camping because you want you want some peaceful lah. Peace and quiet. Peace and, quiet <laughs> and relax. Hmm. So, if you go to the crowded places, mm. then your neighbor uh, camper bising sampai pukul tiga pagi, so mm. it's not nice, lah. Mm, betul. Good. So I I choose my my camping site, lah. Mm. Camping site. Mesti selalu pergi weekday kan? Yes, I mostly uh, sometimes pergi weekdays, mm. tapi kalau family nak ikut, then uh. I have to go on the weekend, lah. But then I, again, I choose the, mm. the campsite, lah. Yeah, I think we are the weekday gang. Okay, so ah, uh, I'm interested to. Have a look at your this drawer kitchen system. Eh? No, this drawer I make it myself uh, from three quarter inch plywood. Then I got freezer, 
This is a tetilite punya freezer from Epic Coal. And this drawer is a bit mess, tapi this is for all the equipment. Prio, cherry and all the miscellaneous items lah. Hmm. Ini sobat item focus, even apa ni, reset pun ada. Hmm, hmm. Uh, Things that is easy for you to grab when you need yes, it. Yeah. Yes, so um, but the lower drawer is for my kitchen and gas stove lah. Hmm. Yeah, you have already taken out to put there. Ah, uh, then uh, ada kat depan tu. Mm. Then I got uh, my uh, cooking oil. Cooking oil. Um, and I also have this uh, water system lah. Oh, nice. So water system, so I can use for uh, my table here lah. Yes. So there is a uh, 26 liter of water inside in the car. Where is it? It's behind the cargo box. And in between the seats. Oh wow! So there is a how many liter water tank? Twenty six. Twenty six liter water tank inside, but you guys can't see it. But um, yeah, how do you refill the water? There's an uh, from inlet. the back seat. Ah, okay, okay. okay, okay. Because the, the back seat it can fold down, ah. then you, you uh, refill. Wow, nice. <laughs> so this is for uh, baso baso cooking, mm. uh, not for mandi lah, because mm. twenty six liter mandi you. Ah. One, 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 one. <laughs> Behind here is actually inverter. Yep. Uh, 12 volt to 240 volt. Mm. So this is the, the home plug mm. that I can use a uh, rice cooker. So probably um, tomorrow morning I masak nasi with mm. this one. Mm. And this is a uh, 12 volt uh, yep. supply. Mm. This is from second battery. I got two batteries in, in, in the car. Whenever I use this one, I won't, I won't use the starter battery. So I got no problem to start tomorrow morning lah. Nice, So I nice. can drain the whole second battery flat, but still can start the car. And you are able to go off grid, right? <laughs> yes, uh, almost uh, with water. I got solar generator, so all lights. I, I can go you know while camping. So yeah, with a necessary. with a rig like this, with your electrical system, with your power station. Uh, I mean, it's built to travel and overland to remote places. And I also have portable toilet mm. inside there. I apologize. Due to a technical error, I have lost the second half of this footage. If you're interested to look at this rig in detail, please check out Red Pajero Overland's YouTube channel. Link in description. The organizer of the RTT Rendezvous 2023, Bagong Overland. Hey, this is Nuru. Hi, Ju. <laughs> Hello. Thanks Hello. For stopping by. And this is Zuan. Hi. Could you tell us a little bit about Bagong Overland, how it came about, what it's all about? Okay, for Bagong Overland, if you see the logo, what animal do you see? Mm, it looks a little bit like, I don't know, a dinosaur? <laughs> or is it a, a bird? In the bird family. Yes. The goose. Mm. Swan, a goose. Mm. Okay, so, uh, swan mm -hmm. uh, in Sarawak, that's where I'm from, is called Bagong. But why why Swan? Why Bagong? Because his name. Ah. His name is Shah Zwan, Zwan. And my dad mispronounced it as Swan, and that's how it began to the name. So, in a way, it's actually Shah Zwan's overland adventure. Oh. So that's how it came to be. Okay, okay, now I understand the origin of Bagong Overland. So how long have you guys been, you know, uh, doing this outdoor thing, camping? Uh, since uh, my first born was a little one, mm. since he was a baby, so we've been doing hiking, going to the park, exploring nature, because that's the best way for little children, for toddlers to start with their uh, early learning yeah. experience, learning the world. Yeah, you yeah. want to get them exposed. Yes, exposed. rather than get into the books, right? We uh, utilize it with their sensory, yeah. eyesight, mm. touch, feel, experience. Yeah. And that, that's how, before we get to the books, that's how we start them. Uh. That's amazing. Uh, oh, that's amazing. I wish I was your kid. I think it was when he was about three years old. Four years mm -hmm. old by then, yep, uh, yep. we started camping. Overlanding is still new, about three years. It's a process, it's a journey. Yeah. Till we get up to here. And the dream mm -hmm. uh, to 
go outside Malaysia to explore the continent and everything. Yeah, so you have this ultimate dream to overland across the world. Yes. Amazing, amazing. I'm pretty sure you, you and your family will be able to achieve that dream very, very <laughs> soon. And don't forget to share your journey. All right? You have a YouTube channel, right? Yes, Bagong Overland. Do, Bagong yeah. Overland. When the kids, when they grow up, they want to look back what adventure they had with their family. So that, that's why the YouTube channel came to be. So it is a, a, a gallery for remembrance of all yes. your trips and adventures. Exactly. Mm. It's the easiest and cheapest way to keep your memories. Correct. <laughs> Correct. Absolutely and right. <laughs> Correct. Oh, so I see that you have a rooftop tent and it is also from Wireland. I think there are many Wireland users here. Yeah, yeah. What's the model of this, this uh, rooftop the tent? Uh, the first version of Voyager. Uh, we have three uh, family type rooftop tent here. This uh. is the second one. Mm. The first one is on the White Triton by yep. Atomic Resources. They all and have this uh, signature look about it although it's the different models but they mm -hmm. all have the signature yeah. quite distinct looks mm -hmm. yeah and so far you've been comfortable in this tent looks it looks it looks like it's got spacious, great ventilation very spacious you and you it. really get all the view eh, from yes. because the windows are huge the, I, that's the best part that we enjoy yeah the yeah yeah the yeah the nice i remember your um the pictures that you posted of Zen for uh, Zen Forest. The yeah, the, the views are amazing. And I love how you guys keep it minimal and simple. Mm. Yeah. We, don't, we don't have a kitchen system, mm. a proper system. It depends on how the situation are. Mm. Sometimes we when we go on a trip, mm. they don't have really much space. We just park at a parking lot. Mm. So you don't have that luxury to put a cabinet or pull out your a drawer system mm. and everything. So we cook as how it is. I That's think we still prefer the portable. Yeah, I think your way is more flexible. Yeah. You can um, customize your setup based yeah. on the location of exactly, the camp. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, you keep it simple and uh, your compact. setup and everything is simple as well yeah. and flexible most importantly. Mm -hmm. That's great. That's great. Mm -hmm. Ah, thank you so much for organizing this event. I think um, everyone is happy to join this event. I think the rooftop <laughs> And uh, community is growing quite rapidly uh, recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right. it's, it's amazing that we get to get to know each other and check out each other's rig. Exactly, <laughs> because uh, when people ask us, uh, like, uh, how's your rooftop tent? You only know about your rooftop tent. Oh, when yes. you say, what do you think of other tent? What, uh, um, I mean, the pros and cons of your tent and yeah. other tent. Do you know about this tent? So this is the time. You, exactly. you showcase your tent and you get to know personally, hey, this model has this thing. Oh, this model has been exactly, this brand exactly. has that, so you get your hands on it because yeah. there is no shop that has every rooftop then that's right displayed. that's absolutely because right it's very limited to display rooftop mm. then it's amazing because like I was just going around and just uh, checking out everyone's rig and I get to learn so much. Thank you so much for organizing this and yeah let's hope for a good uh, camp evening. Thank you Nero for your time. You, Bye-bye. <laughs> <Welcome back. laughs> there is a congregation here, like a meeting and conference going on. <laughs> this is the Orang Kuat, Mr. <laughs> Azrik. <laughs> Hi. for being here, be part of the wonderful gang. Oh, thank, thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. <laughs> About the Rover Serigala, like who, who is Rover Serigala and what is, uh, what is it all about? Basically, we have a pack that under uh, Srigala and we have three units under Srigala consists of uh, Robert Srigala, the largest uh, unit and followed by Srigala Coms and also a Fort Srigala and we have another inactive unit as well we are sharing the same patient, yep. the same activities and now uh, I think we are doing it regularly and mm. we have biannually uh, event next year we are going to do the Srigala's uh, event which is for the pack, for the in-house pack and, and the rubber camp is open up uh, to other groups as well. Mm, mm. So, I think it's great that you know we get to meet and really get to know each other and yeah. people like me who is like an amateur and really really want to learn about this I would say sport, four-wheel drive, overlanding. It's a lifestyle and uh, it's a different world altogether. So I think it's great that we get to mix and mingle and I get to learn so much from people like you. And how long have you been doing this? We're always doing this as, uh, 
as a one unit all this while. Uh, load wolf kind of things, you know. And moving on, two years back, we uh, acquired these uh, markas to send touring parts and we start to create uh, a group of like-minded uh, community to ask and share about things that what we do. In the Robust Regalo, we are engaging into activities like off-roading, green laning, uh, expeditions, camping. Mm. This coming one will be Rover Camp 3, which is in August. Mm. It's coming August. Yeah. So the Rover Camp 3 that's happening in August, is is it going to be like a camp meet like this as well? Uh, in the Rover Camp, usually what we do is we do is take along convoy where everyone will be take along together up to the Marcas and then oh. we just do camping, coffee, sharing sessions, exchange, or whatever it is. A certain occasion, we also do the off-roading in the north area, we call it North Wolf. We are practicing forms, we are tackling obstacles, we do recovery if needed, things like that. This so, is uh, Mr. Rizal, Mr. Rizal, also another yeah. orang kuat. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Rizal, uh, I understand that you are also a uh, part of the Serigala pack, the wolf pack. Yes, yes, and you guys have been doing this for a long time. Like you guys, well, I think, are the pioneer, are the pioneer of this sport. Are definitely lots to learn from these guys. I, I can tell that you guys are big Whoa, fans of Land Rovers. <laughs> there's a Land Rover here. There's another Land Rover there, and another Land Rover just arrived. There's another one more coming. I'm Phil Val, yeah? Yes. So. I just want to ask you a question, you know, since we are here, right? Okay, for a person like myself, who is quite new in this sport, you know, the outdoor people who, like me, who want to explore more and learn more about how to build my dream truck or build my dream vehicle in order to make my overlanding dreams come true. What kind of tips and advice would you give to a person like me? Well, basically it's quite simple. Number one, you have to love the make and model of the vehicle. Number two, as always, you have to see your budget. Mm. Don't overdo it on budget. Okay. Why? It's because you can get a normal standard vehicle and you can make it to what you want it to be. You should not listen to other people, but you should listen to yourself. But the third thing is, where do you want to go with it? Right? Is it going to be just while camping? Are you going to do overlanding with it? And the fourth thing is, you have to see if you're going with a community or are you going alone. So if you're going alone, the most important is you have to get a very uh, quite reliable vehicle. Uh, in the sense of, if you want to buy a second-hand vehicle, make sure that it is up to standard. Right? And it's easy to repair with parts. Yeah. If you get this new vehicle, I got no worries. Because with the warranties of like uh, extended 5 years warranty or the kilometer, it shouldn't be a problem. All, all people who, who has been playing in this industry for many years, <coughs> to us, vehicle is not the number one thing. You have to have the passion. Mm -hmm. If you don't have the passion, whatever vehicle that you buy, you won't feel satisfied with it. Wow, I think that is one of the biggest, most uh, practical tip ever because most people think, oh, what vehicle should I get? But I think with the right passion and the right mindset, you can turn any vehicle yes. into the vehicle that is for you. For example, I'm owning a vehicle that's more than 40, 40 years old. Okay? It's more than 40 years old, but it is roadworthy by our Malaysian local enforcement JPJ. Mm -hmm. It is it is very reliable for me because I have very less breakdowns with it. And if you put aside between a 40-year-old vehicle with a 2-year-old vehicle, the comparison is on the looks and the speed. For me, I don't go for more on the speed because I enjoy driving it. To enjoy life is to enjoy everything. Don't take things too fast. If you go too fast, you won't even see the best Gorin Pisang shop on your left. Mm -hmm. You won't see the nice durian fella who's selling things on the right. You have to take things slow. Wow, thank you for that. Thank you for that. Always remember, it's always about the journey. So take it slow and enjoy the ride. Yeah. Uh, if I want to add, uh, yeah. because people always ask about what are the, what are the ideal way of uh, building your vehicles it's, it's very simple so basically it depends on your requirement personal requirement meaning that you don't go big 
in the initial stage. Yeah. You go, go places, go everywhere. So then you will learn about things that like what you need, whether you need this, you need that. Sometimes when you build and only when you go place, then you know that ah, that's not that's redundant, isn't it? Mm. So that's the best way of doing that is start small, go places, and you will know about the adversity, about things that what you have to improve, and. It consists of many factors like operational time, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, what things that good for you and the person that going to operate your vehicle, things like that. I think most people like to jump into this thing and they splurge all at one go. They yeah. think, I, I think I need this, I think I need this and they just buy everything. Okay. And then when they go camping, uh, they realize, oh, I actually don't need this. And I actually have a preference for something else. So I guess start small, go on trips. Learn what you need, what you don't need, understand yourself better. Why I built my vehicle to this extent is because I do teach basic four-wheel drive driving, uh, government and NGOs, right? especially for those monsoon seasons where you need to drive through floods. Mm. So the reason of the build is because of, you see it later, uh, I do tell people on what to stand by for because things like mother nature's you would know when it's gonna happen mm. so when you build vehicles build with a peace of mind that your vehicle is a moving uh, home basically mm. for you to take refuge yeah so you can stock up with a lot of things you have enough power to get you by at least three to four days that you don't depend on the plug electricity that you are self-sustained with solar because God has given you given you energy that's free yeah how to harness it yeah yeah yep. yep. now the moment that I've been waiting for checking out Mr. Rizal's rig uh, Mr. Rizal could you be also kind to just show us a quick tour of your rig sure. I would be glad to show you okay. yeah so this is a Land Rover yep this is a Land Rover series 3 1978 now what you see in front of you right now is my power station i do have all of this rig and it's homemade it is made by me nice basically. diy yeah so i do have my inverter that's producing 1.5 k of electricity that's 1500 watts and i do have all of my fast charge usb all right mm. this is all fast charge 2.1 ampere yep and right now the the battery that i'm using is lithium it's lipo 4 mm, lithium okay. phosphate lithium phosphate it's a safe battery the uh, batteries to be implanted into vehicles okay. now i do have 10 of it okay? wow so i don't need to charge this at least for four days if i'm camping out uh, without electricity so you're able to go off grid without off -grid. a recharge for four days straight yeah yeah what I do have later, you will see mm. on my board is I do have a DC to DC charger from yeah. the from the alternator. Okay. I do have a solar panel okay. that I didn't bring because I do have I have in, in enough of power, and I can charge my system through AC to DC. Amazing, amazing! So there's three wow. ways of charging it. So you've got a variety of different methods to, to keep it top up. Yep. And on the rear, um. I do have my barbecue uh, grill that's oh. on the tire. So it is not a, a tire holder, it's a barbecue grill, okay? And this is my nick, nickname, Belalang. Oh, That's okay. I got this engraved. Ah. This is laser, laser cut, locally made by a local fella from Sabah. And he's here in Kuala Lumpur. So he did this for me, right? Mm, nice. I do have an awning that's 2.5 by 2.5 mm -hmm. okay. My rear awning yeah. for my kitchen that I have not yet set up, sorry No problem okay. I do have my rear awning with my kitchen set up I do have my portable fridge and freezer That's 50 liters My mini toolbox on the go Yep My fresh water jerry can 20 liters the high lift jack and this is very important for high or tall vehicles that you can use uh, the bottle jack uh, original came with the car because of the lift okay so you do need a high lift jack and this is very dangerous you have to know how to use this before using it so you have yeah. to learn 
Yeah, it does. It, it, it does look very intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. And the shower. And yeah, uh, shower changing room. Okay. Uh, I do have my rooftop tent. Yep. This is one of the classic ones. Yeah. What's uh, interesting about this setup is that your door to your rooftop tent or the ladder is on the front. Is on the front. Yeah. Wow. It is. Why? Why? Why so? Why do you make it so? Uh, I just want to have a different look on it. It's because uh, everybody's opening it up on the rear mm -hmm. or the left and right. So on this uh, wagon, basically, this is not a single cab. This is a wagon whereby I could put it on the front mm -hmm. with the ruling that we do not go more than the front bonnet. So when it closes up, it's only right up to my front windscreen. So it is all in the vehicle, not going over the vehicle. Yep. So this is permitted. Yep. Right? So yep. I had it to be op open up on the front. And nice. I have a shorter area on my engine. So this series is shorter than that Defender. I see. That is a 110 Defender. Hmm. This is a 109 series. It is from Land Rover. So that's the difference. The, the difference is the front part. This has a shorter nose. Okay. Right? It has a groove in it. The Defender is all flat. <coughs> That's how to differentiate between a Defender and a Series. Okay? For old vehicles, vintage vehicles, the door opens up this way. Wow. It is not by pulling it, it is by lifting it. Right? This is vintage. And if you can see on the inside, this is what I tried to explain to you just now. This is my electrical setup. Wow. This is by Vitron. This is my DC to DC. Yep. Vitron. This is my uh, solar charge controller. Yep. The MPPT. Mm -hmm. Right. This is my inverter. That's 1500 watts. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is my AC to DC charger. So this is what we plug in to our home. Whereby this is the, this is the wire that we plug to, to, to top up the batteries. I see. I and see. I do impl implanted all of the batteries into the vehicle mm. that you don't get to see. Mm. With all the wires and everything is all embedded in, in oh, the wow. vehicle. Wow. Because on LiPo 4, it will last you for at least 9 to 10 years. So I got no worries on the batteries. Nothing to talk about. It feels like uh, the whole setup and you know how much thought you have put into thought and consideration put into every single detail yeah. is like a work of art. Definitely a work of art. It is not an overnight thing. Yep. You have to really think about it. Mm, mm, mm. Do it once. Mm. And you will feel comfortable with it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now this is what everybody envies about this car. Yeah? Oh wow! Okay, I did not expect that. <laughs> totally did not expect that. Wow! <laughs> and what you have is just a hub though. Yeah. And you can have wow. all the wind into your vehicle. Thank you so much, Mr. Rizal, for your time. No this is such... I, I mean, I, I've learned so much just from this uh, short 10-minute session. Yeah. I think it's very inspiring. And yeah. thank you for sharing your stories and your yeah. insight with us. Yeah. Alright guys, I think that's it. I think I've covered uh, and visited the majority of the camping rigs here. Super amazing. And uh, I think I've learned so much from everyone here who has shown me their rigs and shared some tips and advice it has inspired me to want to get into this even more i think that's all for today i'll see you in the next video bye bye